Nigerian police goes spiritual, reacts to Baira Juju placed near Umwahia police post in Abia. A viral photo of a Nigerian police officer posing with a traditional deity placed right in front of Umwahia police post has surfaced on the internet. In the photo that was shared on the internet, the juju was placed near the Umwahia police station, according to a viral photo. It was placed to protect security operatives from the series of attacks perpetrated by unknown gunmen in the state. Ibom leaked news reports the series of attacks by the unknown gunmen in Imo state, which has led to the government doing all it can to protect its security operatives even though sponsoring Wudoism. Hmm. Our Nigerian police have decided to join the, the crew of Voodoo's. <laughs> Quite interesting. It is said that if you cannot beat them, you join them. And that is what our Nigerian police are doing. That's what they are seen doing. All right. Um, it is welcomed. It is welcomed. Let's see how far that can go for them. It is what you believe in that will work for you. If you believe that juju will work for you, oh, it will work for you. If you believe that it will not work for you, it will not work for you. Those people that believe in God, God has been working for them. But let me tell you, no matter the kind of juju you consult, no matter the kind of voodoo power you consult, my dear, let me tell you something. If you don't do the needful, if you don't do the needful, you are wasting your hell fucking time. That your juju will fail you, hopefully. You will be surprised at how you will be killed. You will be, you'll be brutalized. I don't know how people, how people just um, forget so soon that we are now in a modernized world. This is not an, a, a medieval era where people now believe on, 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 on deities. On dead gods, on woods. This is modernization. For crying out loud, you are placing a wood, a carved wood, in front of a police station, believing that it's going to protect you. Look at, look at human being that God Almighty created and gave life, believing on 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 the wood. Oh my God, this is a problem, and this is why we are still where we are to today. On, on, unable to go on it's crazy absolutely crazy if nothing is done fast about this i tell you nigeria will remain where it is remember where we are like seriously because it things are not getting are not getting funnier things are not getting funnier anymore there is need for immediate action an immediate action need to be taken and if it is not taken you will be surprised and amazed at what is going to happen at the end you are placing a juju believing that it's going to protect you and you are not making efforts that juju will fail you see let me tell you something on the issue of the government attack at the police station is your cause and your fault you people have refused to tell yourself the truth. You have refused to tell yourself the truth and you have refused to protect yourself clearly. And that is why you keep getting attacked. And you keep getting attacked if you don't do the right thing. If you don't do the right thing, you keep getting attacked. How can you, as a police officer, you claim to be a police officer and you are, you are, you are, you are getting yourself biased with, with the Boko people and you think that they, that, that they, they won't come after you? You as a police officer, you, you're a police officer at the same time you are supplying weapons to the Boko people. You're a police officer and you are compromising with the Boko people, giving them direction on how to invade your police station. Hmm? You're a police officer and you are supplying them with ammunition and security uniforms. And you, oh my, you guys are just deceiving yourself. No wonder the Bible said it that many are covered, only few of them are chosen. Why are we killing ourselves? Why are we deceiving ourselves on what, what is not true? 
Yes. You're deceiving yourself. Absolutely deceiving yourself. Because there is nothing. That, that voodoo or whatever charm that you claim will not work for you. It can't work for you. It cannot work for you. Unless you, you un, not until you start doing the right thing. Not until you start doing the right thing. So if you like, place 1,001 uh, uh, 1,000 um, uh, uh, of juju in front of the police station for protection. If you as a person is not seen doing the right thing, they will kill you. They will kill you. You will die. So stop deceiving yourself and start doing the right thing. Do you understand? To me, all these things are just a waste of time and a waste of effort. What is the meaning of this? You are, you, 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 you are, you are putting up... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to call this, in fact. Because to me, it's too funny. It's too funny for my liking. Too funny. And, um, and unprofessional. Uh, for something of this kind coming from uh, a police officer. Is that not a disgrace? It's a, it's a disgrace. Yeah? <laughs> wow. Becoming very interesting anyway. Yeah, Nigerian is getting tough at the same time becoming interesting. At least with this, we are now knowing the kind of people that um, that we have as leaders. It's got, they are gradually, gradually getting exposed. They are gradually getting exposed. Because if this doesn't happen, we won't know who they are. We won't know them. We won't know who is who. But this is making us to know who is who. Yes. It's making us to know who is who. And what who actually knows or wants. Do you understand? This has made us to know the kind of security force we have in Nigeria. What they are capable of and what they are not capable of. It has exposed them. Their capability and their atrocities. It has exposed them. They have been exposed. Completely. They have been exposed. And that is how they will keep getting exposed. You claim to be a military man. And, um, and, and you are compromising with criminals. With criminals. And you claim to be a military man. Liars. Deceivers. See, if do, nothing is done concerning this very fast, you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised at what is going to be for this country. Because many people have been warning Nigerian, uh, warning Nigerian, but yet President Mubari keeps playing a complete deaf ears. All he only thinks about is, is how, to, how to return open grazing back to the south, to the, to the, to the southeast. That's the only thing he's thinking about. And our Southeast governors have not still been able to say anything about it. They won't be able to say anything about it. Is that right? Is that a good thing? It's not. It's not at all. You see that? All these things are very, very wrong. Absolutely wrong. Something needs to be done about it fast. Very fast. We can't just fool our hands and watch. Go to food hands and be watching. We can't. So, if they lie, let them go spiritual. Let them go voodooism. That is a problem. That is what they call for themselves. And it's affecting them. 